Well, just come outside of Molyneux and I don't know really how to quite sum that up. Crazy. Just to let you know, first of all, obviously Magic's here. Sensations at a party, watching it somewhere. So I've literally dragged Merv kicking and sweet squealing to come on to the, uh, onto the reaction. But Merv... I mean, how are you feeling about that? Well, I think I'd rather be at Stan's party, to be honest. <laughs> You'd rather be yeah. at Stan's party? Just collapsed, absolute collapse, what more to say? That's collapse is a, is a good way of uh, describing it. Dad, I mean, I, I mean, I will go through the game in a minute, and uh, it's kind of like you're a bit shell-shocked with that. Uh, I mean, it was a great game, oh, but Dad, I've got, to, Dad, I've got to give you the mic. Okay. Right, you've got to wait for the mic. Okie okay, dokie. Here we go. Okie okay, dokie. I was 2 nothing up and I was doing great. When the goalkeeper knocked our Royal off, he changed the game altogether. But that's how it goes, but uh, they play... Oh, what I say? I can't say that more. He can't say that more, but he will. He will. I mean, the, to me, the story of the game is, first, first off, it was a, a fantastic atmosphere at Molyneux yeah. tonight. The atmosphere was absolutely brilliant. The Leeds fans obviously contributed to that. But Wolves were absolutely, totally yeah. the better side by a country mile in the first half. It could have been, it was 2-0 and deservedly 2-0 at half-time. It could have been 3, it could have been 4, it could have been 5 at half-time. But it was 2-0. Trinko came on for a... Nevis has gone off injured. We were all hoping that Nevis wouldn't pick up a second yellow. Well, he got injured and then he's gone off. So he didn't pick up his yellow, but we hope he's not too, uh, he's not too injured. And then Trinko's come on. He's had so much stick and he's put in a 25-minute spell where he's had one assist for the goal. Johnny Otto, fantastic finished. Yeah. He's hit the inside of, po of the post from like 35 yards and then he scored the second goal. I mean, Trinko, absolutely fantastic first half. And you're thinking Wolves are going to kick on second half. Start of the second half, we're on the front foot again. And then Raul goes for a 50-50 challenge. He's already been booked. I think he was actually trying to pull out the challenge. The keeper's got to the ball first. And then he's got a double yellow. It's his second red card. And Wolves are down to 10 men. And... At that point, it's given Leeds a bit of a lift, but the defending for the uh, for all three goals, it was it was it was Keystone Cops defending, wasn't it? It was just shambolic, yeah, terrible. They just just cleared the ball, but it was just bouncing from pillar to post and ended up in the goal. I mean, how many chances? Yeah. How many chances? How many? Ch how many chances did we have to clear the ball? We had three or four chances, David. What was the play? You had one other kicking at the. <laughs> You can see Dad's frustrated. I mean, the uh, let's just talk through the the, the two. Well, they played well. Wolves in the first half, they got about five goals, as you said, David. Royal hit the blinking post, and I think the second half, I don't know what happened to him, but I mean. It was, was Trinko that hit the post. Yeah. Dad, the second half, I know what, exactly what happened to him. We went down to 10 men. Um, Wolves are a great defensive unit. We are a fantastic defensive unit. Even down to 10 men, I was feeling still pretty confident. Yep. The first goal, he hits the inside of the post and then it comes back to Ait Norrie, who I absolutely love. But what Ait Norrie is doing, passing the ball back towards our goal line um, and then it's cleared off the line straight to their players to go. We had three chances. That should have just been cleared out the park the first time. It's three minutes later, it's like we... We fell apart. They hit the post again. We've had another two or three chances to clear the ball. We haven't. And then it's come across. Ball come across. Cody gone into the back of the net. And it's 2-2. Two -two. And every single one of those goals, this first and the second goal, we should have dealt with. We should have, it sh we should have cleared. Bruno Large won't be happening. And the defence have been magnificent. But, the, you know, that, that was just... Today, David, it was Keystone Cops defending. It was... <laughs> But I don't know what to add to that. Well, I don't know what to add to that. After that, Wolves regained some of their composure. Um, he's bought on Wang, obviously, um, who's put himself about. I wanted personally to see Silver come on earlier because I thought we needed someone to hold the ball up front. He did come on eventually, but it was only when we had... Both halves had eight minutes of added time. Eight minutes of added time. And Leeds have scored in the 91st minute. Again, we've had chances to clear that ball. And he's turned and hit it. And they 
obviously the Leeds fans have gone ballistic, but you've you've seen the like the Leeds. Oh, everybody keen on that ref day. We're going to come on to the ref. Oh well, well I'm he funny. Funny. Kevin I'm friend. He's no friend of Wolves. He ain't no friend of Wolves. We're going to come on to the ref's performance because there's a lot of people got an opinion. I'm sure you've got something to say about that, Mur. But like the uh, the Leeds substitutes. I mean, are we allowed to run on the pitch if we're not actually playing? No. The lead substitutes, all of them have ran across the pitch to their fans. I know they're happy, but, I mean, the referee has lost yeah. control of the game. Yeah. Kevin Friend has lost control of the game. He's let too much go. You know, they should have been down to 10 men. I mean, some of the fouls that were going in. And it's, it's majorly disappointing. But Wolves, you know... It's a setback in Europe. We're just when we they drag us back in, yeah. we go and we're looking like we're going to put ourselves into a really strong position. We've thrown away a two-goal lead, and you know it's one of them things. Uh, Murph, give us your performance rating and man of the match. Uh, man of the match, Trinko. He did well when he come on. Yeah. And um, performance first off, I'll give it eight first off. Eight. And for the second off, so six average. Six average. Uh, Dad, performance rating. As that fella said, talk up, please. Eight. You got you, you got a horse. You thought your oh, voice is horse. Your voice is horse. Yeah. So you gone with an eight. Yeah, eight, David. Yeah. And your man of the match, Bonanza. You're going to give it to Bonanza. Yeah, 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 yeah Bonanza, David. Yeah. Th for translated, that means Daniel Pedence. Um, I'm going to give it a nine for the first half because I thought we were absolutely brilliant in the first half and we were great up until the sending off. And then after that, we, I mean, I can't. You can't lack the effort. You can't lack no, the passion. No, the way, yeah. to be honest, after we went three-two down, we brought Silver on and Chiquito on, and you we, 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 their keepers pulled off two fantastic saves to keep it at three-two. But why didn't we do that? I don't know. What, he should have made the substitute a little bit early because Leeds were there. We've got better quality, but at the end of the day, they put three balls in the back of the net. They've scored and they've won 3 2. I'm going to give the overall performance. I'm going to give it a six and a half um, just because of the first half, I think. I mean, maybe pushing a seven because it's hard. And I can't believe it. He's got a Trinko, was absolutely fantastic um, when he came on. If that's the Trinko that we thought we were going to get. Yeah. Thank you. If you can play like that every game, yeah, you can see why he's got a £25 million price tag on him. He was absolutely I've always, brilliant. I've always liked him, David. I have. Is that right? Is that, is that true? I have, yeah. I've told you that at the beginning as well. Dad's always like it. Anyway, it's disappointing. Um, fair play to Leeds. The Leeds fans are going to be going back up to Yorkshire, really cock a half, cock a hoop, of course they are. Um, it's disappointing. It's been a, but it, if you're a neutral, it's a fantastic game. Uh, final words, Murph, looking forward uh, to international break and then Villa coming up? No. <laughs> no <laughs> final not not No anymore. final words. Dad, final words? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, David, yes. Uh, it's Aston Vanilla coming up next, next time after the break. Um, let's hope that Neves is recovered. Uh, obviously, Raul Jimenez is probably going to be suspended, so you're gonna, you're not, he's going to be out. And, um, I, don't, I don't think he should be suspended. I don't think he should be. Why? Because the goalkeeper fetched him down, he not the goalkeeper come running at him. Well, we were in the North Bank a long way away, and the referee and it's been looked at. It's been well, we're going to have to been made a few mistakes, I think. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, Dad, I happy with that anyway. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, disappointing night, great game. Disappointing night. Wolves, European chances have just taken another setback. We've got to bounce back. And we've got to beat Villa in the next game here at Molyneux. From uh, Merv, thanks for standing in. And there's Hannah over there, just behind the scene. Her first game, she's enjoyed it. Um, you know, always Wolves. Always Wolves, David. Always Wolves. Take care.